Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Tanika Talks. I've got lots of wedding stuff to catch you up on and I'm just chatting a little bit about the Christmas holidays and seeing what everyone is up to. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. All right, oh my gosh, I just put eye drops in and they are ones that sting. Oh, so my eyes are hurting, but anyway, how are we all? So I am getting ready for my Christmas party this afternoon. It is at my boss's house. We've hired a big water slide, karaoke machine, we've got drinks, we've got dinner. It's pretty relaxed and casual, so I'm not going full glam. I just want a little bit of a natural makeup look to make me feel a bit better. I won't go through all the makeup that I'm using. If you do want to see my natural makeup look, I do have a whole video tutorial on it, so I'll link that down below. So yeah, I work at a cafe, so there's about 15 of us, and as I said, we're just doing a little get together at my boss's house. We're really lucky, we have a really good team that like each other and support each other, so I'm really excited to just relax and party with everyone tonight. We play this game, I don't know if it has a name, but I just call it the stealing game, and everyone buys a present, and then you pull out a number, and as you go along, how do you explain it? Hang on. <laughs> Say there's 15 people, everyone gets a number from 1 to 15 and then like number 1 you get a present. Num if you're number 2 you can either steal that person's present or pick a new present. So you want to get a number that's like further down the line so you've got a lot of presents to choose to steal from. But it's so fun, especially when someone really likes a present and then someone steals it off. <laughs> Suckers. So what's everybody doing for Christmas? Leave me a comment down below where you're from and what you do for Christmas. So here in Australia it is summer and <laughs> it gets to like 30 plus degrees every single day. Like 30 is actually quite cool <laughs> for a summer day. So it's usually pretty hot. This year we are going to go have breakfast with Clinton's mum. He's an only child so he doesn't have a lot of family that we need to go see. So we'll have breakfast with his mum and then we'll head over to my family's house. And I think we're going to do presents and then this year we're actually going to go up the beach up to I think like Double Island and camp there the night. It is such a beautiful spot there. I remember we went maybe not last year, the year before. And I remember coming back from the beach one day going to our campsite and the sand was so bloody hot, like we had to bolt to go stand on like, I don't know, something that wasn't hot, but ooh, it gets hot. So I'm a little bit nervous for the heat. Like I really don't like the heat. I don't like sweating. I'd definitely rather it be cold. Well, like Australia's version of cold anyway, which is like 20 degrees. <laughs> well, Queensland's version of cold, let's put it like that. Because I've been watching Crystal Conti on YouTube and she lives in Melbourne. And as I said, it's summer here in Australia. But she's going out with like jackets on and saying how cold it is. I'm like, what the hell? Here, I am sweating my guts out every single day. Like we've had the air conditioning on pretty much every day. And I know my power bill is gonna be through the roof, but it's just so hot. And in our rental, we don't have ceiling fans in the living room or the dining room, only in the bedrooms. But anyway, that took a turn. So that's what I'll be doing for Christmas. My family as well, because there is a lot of us. Well, I'm the eldest of six kids. And then we've got my mom. We have a niece in the family now and then some partners. So we do Secret Santa. It's not really secret though. <laughs> like we pick the names out of a hat and Within a few days, we've all told each other who we've got. We're just so bad at keeping it secret. And even this year, we're all sitting at the kitchen table and we're looking around at each other like, oh my God, who's got who? And mum's like, all right, how many of you are gonna blab by tomorrow? And we all put our hands in the air. She's like, all right, just tell each other who you've got then. <laughs> it's so exciting having my niece around for Christmas. Like she's only one, so I don't think she really gets it, but just, Seeing her get excited, like last night we went Christmas light looking and we went to this popular street where like every house is done up and she was just having the best time. It was so damn cute. Christmas is always so much fun when there's kids involved, I think. One of the houses had like this laser light going, like shooting red and green lights everywhere. And Aria was tripping out. Like she didn't know where they were coming from, what was going on. Cause like 
they'd flash and then disappear. It was projecting onto my face and she's reaching out like trying to touch the light on my face. It was so cute. So that's pretty much everything we'll be doing for Christmas and New Year's. I don't know, I just don't even really care that much anymore. Like, to party is what I mean. So I don't know what I'll be doing. Leave me a comment below letting me know your plans. Maybe I'll get some ideas. Okay, are you ready for some wedding updates? I feel like I've actually made a lot of progress over the last month. So I think in my last Tanika Talks, I spoke about bridesmaid's dresses and a wedding cake. So an update on those, I have booked a wedding cake maker. What are they called? <laughs> We end up deciding to go with a kind of like one tier, just cylinder looking cake. And then we're going to do donuts and cupcakes just to mix it up a little because that way I think people will want to eat it as well. It's like a little bit more interesting, like, ooh, donuts. She makes the most beautiful, beautiful cakes. She does things that are quite creative too. I don't think we're gonna go down that path, but Still, she has beautiful designs. As for the bridesmaid dresses, oh my god, that was a little bit of a drama. <gasps> but I did end up getting three dresses, all the same dress, all the same color. Thank god. So I went onto the website to buy them and I needed two size 14s and it said low stock, I think, or maybe out of stock it said actually. And I was like, shit. I need two of those. So I emailed them and I was like, hey, just wondering when this dress is coming back in stock. And they got back to me and they're like, um, it's not. <laughs> so that like was instant panic. I was like, okay, 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 okay. I'm ringing all these David Jones stores to see if they've got the dress in stock. No one's got it. I'm like, okay, oh my God, what do I do? So there was another style of dress in the same color. And the color I'm choosing is very unique. So it's not like I can just go get a different dress in a similar color because it took me long enough to find this dress. So anyway, I'm ringing all these David Jones trying to find the other dress, like the different style dress in the same color, but you know, oh, just drama, drama, drama. And anyway, I go back onto the website, the original website of the dress, like two days later, and now the dress says low stock. I'm like, hold up. So I end up finding a number and I ring them. I'm like, look, the other day it said no stock. Now it says low stock. What is the deal? She's like, let me have a quick look. I have one. I'm like, okay, I need two in that size. Oh, so I was stressing out hard. My sister's like, look, Tanika, it's fine. Like, just get the other dress for me. I'm happy to wear that. Like, it doesn't matter. But I don't know, like, you know when you want your bridesmaids to like be all matchy matchy, so I was just stressing out. So in the end, I ordered the 12 that I needed and 114 just to have it in my hand so that no one else would buy it. And then I got one of my bridesmaids. So the reason I wanted 214s is because one of my bridesmaids is pregnant at the moment and she's going to be giving birth only a few weeks before the wedding. So we're not sure what size she's gonna be. So we thought we'll get the bigger one and we can get it altered if we need to. So anyway, I got her around to try on both sizes and thank God the 12 actually end up being the better fit for her anyway. The 14 was, wasn't quite fitting right around her bust even when we gave room for growth. So I went on the website and brought another size 12 straight away and then I had all my dresses. And in the end, it was actually on sale for 195 instead of like over $300. So. I got a bargain, I got all the dresses, it's all good. And so the other day I booked in my florist as well. I knew florist quotes were going to give me a shock and they did. I'm not going too crazy with the florals, just bouquets, a little bit of table decoration and some decoration for the arbor. It was actually really good. We went up to the venue a few weeks ago because they had an open day and it was good to walk around again because we hadn't been up there since we first looked at it and that was well over a year ago. So it was good to go up there and actually have plans in place so I could look around and go, okay, that's going to be there, that's that, you know, like sort out your plans. So still all my florals is going to cost me well over two and a half thousand dollars, which it's so much money to spend on flowers, 
but I know it's going to be worth it in the end and the florist that I've chosen, she does such beautiful, beautiful work and I had a phone call with her. She's such a lovely and caring person. You can tell that she's really passionate about this business, which I love. And then the day after we went up to the venue, Clinton and I went suit shopping and we end up finding him a jacket. We bought that but we haven't got the pants and the shirts yet because we want to wait till we can get all the groomsmen together and go shopping at once. But oh my God, we went into this one suit store and the girl that was working there, like she looked beautiful, but her outfit was as if she was working at a nightclub, not at a men's suit shop. I thought it was so inappropriate. Like I'm not picking on her like, I don't know, don't take this the wrong way, but I just think that her work attire was inappropriate for work. I've got a real thing with employees wearing short skirts, short pants, like it's just, it's not on. And so anyway, she has this bodysuit on and the side of it has slits in it. So you can see all her skin. She's got high-waisted jeans on and it was so low cut. Like her boobs were protruding out and like they looked good, but not for a Sunday morning shop at a suit store. And I get it, your customers are men, if that's the approach you're going for, but it was just so inappropriate. And then anyway, I Clinton's got the jacket on, I whip her over, I'm like, hey, I just got a question about the sleeves. Like, is there padding in there? Can we get that taken out? Like, what's the go? And she's like, um, oh, um, um, I, I guess, I'm not really sure, sorry. So that made me even, more mad because I'm like, okay, you have no knowledge. <laughs> you work here. This is for a wedding. Like, I think you should have a bit more knowledge than that regarding suits. That's all you sell here. Oh. So currently I am working on the invites. I am doing a wedding website, which is actually so damn helpful. You can put so much information on it, which is really good for our particular venue because it is out in the sticks a bit and you know, people can stay on the property or they can stay nearby. So there's a lot of information that I need to pass on. So the website has been really good for that because it's not like I'm sending them out an envelope this thick with, with, with information. So I'm nearly finished that and then I can get the invites out there a lot later than I wanted them to be, but I was still trying to figure out a ceremony time and like work backwards from sunset photos and blah 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 there is just under five months to go and i feel good i feel like i'm on top of things so yay if you guys have any wedding related questions please leave me a comment below and if there's any wedding related content you'd like to see let me know i am filming bits and pieces of me organizing the wedding and i will put it all together but i want to do it after the wedding because i don't want to give away anything <laughs> I also want to do a video from the hen's night. So that's coming up in February. <sighs> oh my God. I know it's going to be down the Gold Coast, but besides that, I really don't know any other details. I said to the girls, just surprise me. Actually, the only things I said was that I would like to go out on a boat during the day and I'd like a topless waiter. <laughs> I can just feel now that it's going to be so amazing and I know my bridesmaids are going to do the best job at planning this for me. I'm so excited. Okay, well, this is my finished makeup look. Oh, I did curl my hair. Wow, that didn't stay very well, did it? Might have to do those bits again. Okay, half of these did not work and I hairsprayed the shit out of that. What the heck? Now I will be filming my best of 2019 video soon. So that will be coming at the very end of the year or the very beginning of next year. So stay tuned for that. I was thinking of just doing one long video. Would you rather it be a tutorial of me using some of the products or just me chatting about them? And before I go, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who supports my channel, everyone who has subscribed and continues to watch my videos every week. I really appreciate it. And I'm really excited to see what next year brings. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas and I will see you in the next video. Bye.